you're a WooCommerce store owner and you're looking to increase your sales in your store while also making more profit from the traffic you already have. In your search for an answer, you've heard the term sales funnels and everyone keeps telling you that you need to use sales funnels to sell more of your products. And maybe along the way, you've also come across the Funnel Kit plugin, an all-in-one sales funnel builder for WooCommerce. But what isn't clear is what exactly is a sales funnel? And why do you need to create a sales funnel if you already have a WooCommerce store? And when would you send your customers to your sales funnel versus sending them to your WooCommerce storefront? And if you create sales funnels, do you even need your WooCommerce store at all? These are just some of the questions that I'm going to help answer in this video. Oh, and if you're already an existing Funnel Kit user or you're considering adding it to your WooCommerce store, what I explain in this video today will help you understand the difference between your store checkout and funnels too. We're going to cover a lot of information in this video, but what's really good is that I'm going to make it really easy to understand. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you should do next to get more sales in your store. Before we get into discussing the pros and cons and when you might want to use a sales funnel over a traditional e-commerce store, like your store checkout, we need a base to build upon. So let's recap how people are currently purchasing in your WooCommerce store and the path they're taking to do so. Your customers could land on your homepage and then they can click anywhere they want in your menu. They might read your about page to get to know your brand and understand your mission statement and why your products are unique. They could even go to your blog and read one of your blog posts. And then your customers could go to your shop page. They could click into a product page and then add a product into their cart. Then they could go back to your shop page and they could add a, another product into their cart. And then when they've added all the items in their cart they're interested in purchasing from your store, they could click to go to your checkout page. They could go through your checkout form, putting in their shipping and billing details, as well as their payment information. And once they're ready, they could click to place their order in your store. If you're using the Funnel Kit plugin, you could then trigger post-purchase one-click upsells, such as the one that you see on my screen here, where your customer could add this to their order. And once they've been through your upselling process, they would eventually arrive at your thank you page. If you're using the Funnel Kit plugin, you can go to Funnel Kit and then Store Checkout. And this is where you can customize that traditional e-commerce buying experience for your customers. You'll notice here that the first step here is our checkout page. This is the default WooCommerce checkout page that customers reach after they add products into their cart and then click to go to checkout. And then after that, you can show them upsells and then you can take them to the thank you page. That ability for customers to add any products into their cart and then go to a checkout page we are going to refer to as the store checkout experience for the remainder of today's video. Behind the scenes, I've just gone ahead and created this WooCommerce sales funnel. Let's go ahead and do a test transaction. And as I go through this, be mindful of the path that we're taking and the decisions that we have to make to purchase from a funnel. So on my screen right now is a sales page, and this is gonna be the first step of your sales funnel in most cases. On your sales page, you're gonna explain the benefits or the deal that you're offering to your customer for one particular product or offer in your store. So in this example, this sales page is dedicated to explaining why the customer should purchase the anti-aging beauty oil in our store, which is currently on sale. And we have the entire page here to explain the benefits of it, what makes it unique, and why the customer should go ahead with this deal today. Now, up the top, let's go from this first step in our funnel, which is a sales page, to the next step, where we're saying, we want to buy this, so we'll click buy now. Now we're taken to a checkout page, and if I scroll down, you can see that product has been added into our cart for us, and now all we need to do is put in our details here into the checkout form, enter our payment details, and then click place order. We then see a sales page where we can claim a related offer. So in this example, it's upgrading us from our beauty oil to get a three pack every single month as a subscription. And then on this page, we could explain why that is a great deal for the customer. We could click to add this to our order. And once that's been added, we then reach the thank you page for this particular funnel, which shows us what we just did in the funnel. 
Now that we understand the path that customers will take when they purchase through the store checkout, and then also the path they will take while purchasing through a sales funnel, let's compare those two paths to see what's similar and different between them. So the first difference is that your customers can choose what products they purchase in your store checkout, but with a funnel, they do not have control. You are in control of what your customer is buying. On our WooCommerce store, if we go to our shop page and I go down and I add this beauty oil into my cart, and then maybe I add the eyeshadow palette into my cart, as a customer, I am adding products into my cart that I am interested in purchasing. In the admin area of WordPress, if we go to funnel kit and then to store checkout, we can see the first step in our store checkout is a checkout step. And then after that, customers go through the upselling process and then they reach our thank you page. If I go to my checkout step and I click into the step and then I go to products, you can see there's no products assigned to this checkout step. And that's exactly what we want out of our store checkout because the customer builds their cart. And once they reach the checkout step inside of our store checkout, they can purchase the items in their cart. In the admin area here, if I go to funnel kit and then funnels and I open up our beauty oil funnel, you'll notice that it looks very similar to what we had in our store checkout. We have our checkout step, then we have our offers, our upsells, and then we have our thank you step. One key difference is that before our checkout step, we have the sales page and we're going to come back to that in just a second. But here with the checkout step, if I click into it and then go to products, you can see that as a store owner, you specify exactly what product your customer will purchase from this checkout step inside of the sales funnel. And the products that are listed here would be the products that you explain on your sales page, which is the step prior. You'll also notice that this is where we list the discount amount, so 20% off. And to add products here, you would just click add product and then search your WooCommerce catalog and then it would show there. If we go back and then I open up the landing page, we're explaining the deal that the customers can get today. And when they click buy now, they go to that checkout step inside of this sales funnel and that product is added into their cart. So as you can see, the key difference between your store checkout and your sales funnel is that your store checkout, your customers can buy whatever they want and there is a cart they can add items into. Whereas with a funnel, you assign products to that checkout step inside of that funnel and your customer cannot add whatever they want into their cart. The second difference between the two paths is the ability for your customer to navigate the other pages in your website. When you send a customer to your store checkout, they will have access to your main menu so they can click to any page that they want on your website and in any order. The choice is up to your customer. With a sales funnel, you remove that choice. There's no main menu. When your customer lands on the landing page in your funnel, the only steps that your customer can follow are those steps that you've defined to make up your sales funnel. So in this case, we have our landing page, which if we click the buy now button, goes through to our checkout page. That is the only possible path that a user could take from that sales page. Now let's talk similarities. So the first similar thing to note between your store checkout and a sales funnel is that from your checkout step down, they're exactly the same in terms of functionality. Meaning, if we go to funnel kit and then to our store checkout, we have our checkout step and on that checkout step, we have an order bump. After that, we have our upsell step with an offer inside there. And then we have our thank you step. If I go to funnels and then open up our beauty oil funnel, here's our checkout step. It has an order bump. Then we have our upsell step here with an offer and then the thank you page. And all the features inside of these steps here are exactly the same, again, between your store checkout and a sales funnel. Now that previous point actually reminded me of another difference, which I think is worth exploring now. So although I said that the steps and the options you have available from the checkout down are exactly the same between your store checkout and your sales funnels, there will be a slight difference to how you set up your upsells. So I wanna show you that. So here we are in our sales funnel where we're selling our beauty oil. So our landing page would convince our customer to buy our beauty oil. They'd go to the checkout page to purchase that. And then they would enter our upsell step where they would see this offer, if I preview this, to get 
a three pack of beauty oil every single month for a discount. And then they would go to the thank you page. Now, anyone that purchases our beauty oil from our checkout page will see that upsell offer. Because in a sales funnel, they follow the linear path that you've defined from the top to the bottom. Now, on the flip side, if we exit out of this and we go to our store checkout, we have our upsell step. And if I click into this, we have rules assigned here so that if somebody adds a product into their cart and purchases an item in their cart that is in the eye makeup category, then we're going to show them this eye related upsell. But now let's go ahead and set up an upsell for when they purchase our beauty oil in their cart. So to do that, we'll click add new step and then one click upsell offers. I'll go down and click on this design to make this a bit faster. And then I'll click import this template. I want to add this as a new upsell step. And I'm going to name this beauty products and the offer will be for the beauty oil three pack monthly subscription and I'll click add. So now we have this second upsell step with our offer inside. And if I click into this and go to products and add product, I will search for my three pack of the beauty oil and assign it to this upsell offer. And here let's give 20% off and I'll click save. Then I'll go up a level. And for the offers inside of this upsell step, I will click and set a rule to only show these offers if a customer purchases through my store checkout a product that is in the beauty category. So I'll select that and click save. So I'll add two items into my cart. One of them is the beauty oil, which is in the beauty category. So I'll go to the checkout. I'll go through the checkout form and then scrolling down, I will place my order. And then I see that upsell for the beauty subscription. So I purchased from the checkout step and then it checked this group of upsells here. I didn't purchase any products that were in the eye makeup category. So it went down to the next group of upsells and it checked the rules here. It saw that I purchased a product from the beauty category. This rule was met and it showed me the offer inside of here. And then I would go to the thank you page. Reviewing our store checkout after the checkout step, the first group of upsells is to do with eye makeup and then it goes to beauty products. If I purchase an item in each of those categories, this is beauty and this is eye makeup, and we go down and click place order, we see the upsell for the eye enhancer bundle deal, which is this offer here inside of this first upsell step. So your store checkout will choose the first upsell step that it finds where the rules are met, and then it goes to your thank you page. With what we just set up, we have quite a good upselling machine here inside of our store checkout. People purchase products, and then if they purchase products based on our rules, they will see related offers and then they go to our thank you page. And we can add as many upsell steps here with as many offers inside there as we want. So what purpose does a sales funnel do that this store checkout upselling process can't? Let's start taking a look at those benefits of a sales funnel. While the upsells here in our store checkout are a great way to make more money and you do definitely wanna have them in your store, one thing that they can't do that a sales funnel can do is give us answers to what's actually going on when our customers purchase from our website. Because you can see that the store checkout starts with the checkout step up here. So anything that our customer did prior to that step, we don't really have any information on what they did and how the pages that they accessed influenced their decision to purchase the products in our store and say yes to these upsells. We can go to analytics and we could scroll down and we can see a breakout of each step inside of our store checkout, how many people viewed the upsell, how many people said yes to it, how much money that made us and the conversion rate. But again, we don't get the full picture of what happened for somebody to purchase an upsell here from our store checkout. And these answers we do get when we use a sales funnel. If we go to funnel kit and then funnels and I open up the beauty oil funnel and then I go to analytics, if we scroll down, we can see each step in our funnel broken out with its own statistics. So here, our landing page, we could see how many people viewed our landing page and then how many people clicked to go to the next step to go to the checkout page. And then when people purchased from our checkout page, how many people purchased and how many people purchased by accepting the order bump. And then when they entered our upsell step and saw our offer, how many people accepted that to eventually arrive at the thank you page. 
Now, one thing that we can get from this sales funnel and the analytics that we're seeing here that we couldn't get with the store checkout is how much of an influence does the landing page and the text and the images and what we're saying on that page affect the decision for people to purchase on our checkout step. And if I was to go back to our steps and on this landing page, I set up an A-B test and I selected create A-B test and I went ahead and duplicated the existing landing page and we sent 50% of traffic to each one and click confirm. And then I edit the variant and I edit the template. And maybe for this variant, I wanna try moving this social proof that's at the bottom further up on the page. Maybe that will help increase my conversion rate here. So I'll get this section and drag it to the top of the page. And if we scroll up, we have our hero, then we have some testimonials and then the rest of the content. I'll click update. I'll click start AB test and then we'll click start now. And then back in analytics, if I scroll down the bottom, over time, we can now see if having the social proof higher on the page gets more people to click through to the checkout page. Let's take everything that we've looked at in this video and answer the question, when should you send your customers to your store checkout? And when should you send customers to a sales funnel? Starting with your store checkout. Because your store checkout has this menu and there's no clear thing that you're trying to get people to do once they visit your website, this is a great place to send people who don't really know about who you are, what you do, or the products that you sell. Now, if you wanna send people to your website to take one specific action, that is when you want to use a sales funnel. So in our example today, we were trying to get people to purchase our beauty oil as part of this deal. And this whole sales funnel is related to selling this one offer. Now, because you wanna send people to a sales funnel when you want them to take one particular action, and you know that sales funnels allow you to optimize at a granular level each step in your sales funnel to increase your ROI, it makes sense to send your paid traffic, so your Facebook ads and your Instagram ads, to a sales funnel. So with our ads that we're running for this product or this campaign, we would be promoting this beauty oil. And when people click the ad, they would go and land on this sales page. And then we'd use the ability to optimize each step of a sales funnel at a granular level to increase our ROI from that traffic so that we can continue to run profitable ads and acquire customers. To wrap up this video, I just wanna mention that from all the different traffic sources you have going to your store, so your email newsletter campaigns, posting on social media, your Facebook ads, Instagram ads, there's no set in stone rule for each of those traffic sources as to where you send that traffic to. For your email newsletter campaigns, you might find sending people to your store checkout is quite profitable. But then every now and then you might build a sales funnel for a particular deal and then you send your email newsletter into that funnel so that they are only focused on that deal that you're offering them today through that email you just sent. Customizing your store checkout and creating sales funnels is just two of the many powerful features included with FunnelKit. Other features include the ability for you to customize your WooCommerce checkout page, easily add one-click upsells to boost your average order value, and so much more. To start making more profit with your WooCommerce store, head to our pricing page to see our current deals.